Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Alpha 18. It is the morning of day 27. Uh, and we've been getting this going for, it's been going overnight. I haven't got a lot of gun, <laughs> I haven't got a lot of gunpowder out of there. Uh, it takes forever for gunpowder. I'm almost willing to make a second, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, chemistry station to get that going. So let's get 36 more rounds moving. Um, I've been making them as I've been going along just so that we have them. Um, and I've been getting more uh, casings going out of here too. Oh, we ran out of time here. Get that going. Just kind of plodding along, getting things going. We got some iron bars made last night. Got a few more wet concrete blocks because I, I forgot I wanted to add some plates. Um, so I needed to make a few more of those. Now, uh, concrete wise, let's have a look here. We're doing really well. It's, it's coming out pretty quick. We've got lots more to go. I'm kind of glad I stopped and picked up that extra concrete when we did. It's really helped move things along here. Let's get the three more. There we go. All right, so let's get out here and work on the base today. Um, first thing I want to do uh, besides actually bringing this down and this down is okay I want to go over here with these guys because we want to do uh, the ramp and get that going I'm hoping to have that completely completed today so we need to have this as advanced and we want it to be Come on, there we go, this one. So what we do is we lay this down here. Yeah, good thing I made the extra. Okay, perfect, and then we wanna do, turn these into the wedge tips. Which now turns this into a really sharp slope. So Jewoodle's base basically uses the wedge tips and they slide off. This is a little bit much, um, but it is a very long corridor and I'm hoping they bump each other off. Even me shooting them might knock them off and down and have them come around again. So that's that done. Let's put, let's actually switch these to plates first before we do anything else. Uh, plates, plates, plates. Who are the concrete plates? We could do the... Uh, the gable quarters rather than plates. It doesn't really matter. These actually might look cooler. You know what I mean? Like have them sticking out slightly. That actually might look a little cooler than uh, just the flat ones. Is it going to block me shooting? I don't think it will. I think it'll be just fine. Alright, let's finish. I want to reinforce these stairs today too. We've got the concrete, so I want to do that right now. Okay, there we go. That's the stairs reinforced. So they're going to come up here, make their way along. Some of them are going to go down here, hopefully fall off. Yeah, see what I mean? It's like, it's a very, very slippery slope. Alright, so let's add these guys. And let's turn one into a plate. Plate, plate. There we go. That just basically double reinforces the front. I don't think we're going to need plates here. Let's put one plate there. Because we've got to put the bars on here and here. So let's go with bars there and there and there. And this is going to be bars on this side. So let's get plates out again. Um... like that so we can rest our bars on them now the question is do I want to have these bars another one there was one of these oh just a nurse um, we had a uh, um, 
a screamer spawn last night. I took care of her. She was wandering around inside the base and then wandered back outside and I was just like, okay, fine, Addict's gonna kill you. So I did. So I did. And then she was dead. All right, let's do this. Get this part done. Okay, now... Ooh, you know what? It's a good thing I uh, can get over here. Forgot to reinforce this. Now we need to do the top as well. How much steel do we have left? 35, man. Ugh. Okay, how much concrete? Seven. 702. So let's do this. Let's get this wall done. And we can hop up here. Now the question is... I don't think I want to give them a lot of headroom inside here. So if they break through this door, let's give them no headroom. Like that. So they don't have any headroom now. So we're going to do this here. Uh, be a little frugal right now. Do I care if they stack up on each other? Because, I mean, what we could do is just go along here like this. And this would completely negate them stacking up on top of each other. Yeah, I think so. I don't want them stacking. what happened on that alternate horde base. They stacked up on top of each other and they were able to get in. Or get on top, right? On top of the base. So if we do that, is that going to be enough? Maybe we do... Uh, let's go this route. This. Like that. Okay. And then, the other thing too is we could put a junk turret up there or a shotgun turret. Maybe a, sh maybe, because we can build the shotgun turrets now, right? So we can put a shotgun turret up there. And um, it can double as bird AA, but it'll also shoot any zombies that get up there. And I don't think they will. Like, I mean, honestly, Looking at this now, it's like, how are they going to get up there? You know? I don't think they will. I don't think they can. Okay, so let's get this uh, back to this frame. One in here. That's a screamer. I think that's it, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, she's so angry. Now, where is she? Being on some wall. Is that a scream? Where'd you go? Oh, went back outside. That's a scream. There's one right there.
Well. At least we know the ramp works. Okay, we got a walker. Big mama. Let's deal with them. Looks like it was only one runner. Somebody inside too. Inside the wall that is. Stop beating out my wall. There you are. Is it just you? Oh, you got a... Got a buddy. Ah! No! Stay away! I got no stamina! I better not lose my head about it. <laughs> See ya! Beautiful. Alright, let's go back inside and get some more concrete. Maybe we should leave this door closed for now. We gotta do all upgrade all this stuff down here. All this stuff at the front. That's gotta go to steel, or it should go to steel. But I don't think we're gonna have the steel for it. We got to really be selective what we put the steel, I think. Um let's get the other door. Put that in. Um, how much concrete do we have here? Concrete. That. And we got more coming out of here. Cement. Uh, do I not have... Wait, where did the... Uh, oh, I thought I took that out of there. Get that going. Eh. Let's just stack it. Okay, a little bit more. Two more. Beautiful. Okay, let's get this done first. Now I'm wondering if I should do... Make it so if they do get up on the roof that they're gonna fall straight off. Because this will be up. Which means the roof would have to be over top of the height of that door. I mean, it's possible. We could do that. Alright. So this door... Um, right? Goes there. That's going to stop them. We're going to be here, shooting through here. For the second, second thing. So if they start to break through that door, we just come and close this one. Yeah, we've got what, 11? Yeah, i got 11 steel left, so not a whole lot. Let's get that upgraded. Okay, we know this front is totally reinforced. Let's get this done too. So we, we have our ramp completed. Now, I don't want to put down my traps until uh, the night of, or the day of. Just because if we get wanderers and stuff, I don't want them to be repairing all the damage to them. Which is one of the reasons why I haven't touched the spikes out here yet either. Did I just see a bird? Yeah. Two of them. They probably got summoned in at the same time with the screamer. I'm not wounded, so I should be safe. In theory. That's got to dry still. So let's get these ones done. So that's good reinforcement there. Like, ultimately, I'd like to have all this steel. These should be plates, too, I think. That should be a plate. Uh, is it really needed to be? I don't think so. Well, they're going to come in here. They're going to try and smash through. If they break through this... Well, I don't think, you know... 
it's a lot of concrete to go through after they've been through all this there won't be much of them left I don't think okay I think we're all right here 310 left gotta save 10 now my question is is I think we do um, I think this isn't gonna be wide enough so what we can do is do this right that'll widen that by one for us let's turn this back into you I know it's an excess of concrete an excess of rebar excess of everything but it's like I, I don't I don't want to take any chances at all now we do have plates left so let's grab a plate copy drop it in there it's just to pr protect versus cop spit and stuff right cap van it right because then we'll have the wall here and we got plenty of room like we can move up against here so they can't see us and shoot us from over there the cops and we could just have all this to shoot through that's plenty I think so how much do we have left here 70 so let's get these up well, at least two of these because this plate uh, needs to be updated got one out here too that needs to be upgraded still this guy Wah! well at least we know it works ah for Christ's sake really all right at least we know it's even kind of even enough well not this corner it probably doesn't matter at all honestly it probably really just doesn't matter at all if I do that or not but all right, we got one more block I just feel comfortable more comfortable doing that okay leave that so we can get up there um, yeah I'm feeling comfortable about this now now do we want to go plates on the inside and outside probably you know Rather than using these, we could go this route. We could go um, copy. Go one, two, three, and four, and then right because we can make turnless reinforced concrete. And we can get right up against here. Right? We can have technically bars on the inside and outside of this too. Uh, we can't there though. I have to take that bar out. I gotta think about that now. You know, I think one bar there is probably going to be enough. Because really, I'm not going to be standing here shooting. I'll be probably be standing like right here. Well, even if I am here though, it's, yeah. I'll make do with that. That's fine. Got three more of these. Uh, what's up, guys? hanging out with me uh, we could put plates in here but that's not gonna matter let's just hang on to it for now okay that's pretty good I think so let's grab uh, oh you know what we'll do put one more on the outside put you there Like that's ridiculously reinforced. I, I don't. I think this horde night's going to be relatively easy. But of course, now that I said that. All right, eleven thirty-three. Uh, tw day twenty-seven. It's not worth going to the trader today. We'll go tomorrow. Uh, let's see how much more we can get done today here. 
I'm kind of really excited about uh, getting this base finished. So let's get this stuff out of here. Okay, let's work on the walls here and the roof. Uh, I mean, we could probably... How many do we have here? Five... 11, so we got 25 blocks. I, we could have probably done this without... Uh, yeah, we could have. Sorry. Uh, we could have probably done this without going with steel. But the extra 7... I mean, the 7,000 hit points is just having that extra little buffer is, like, sorely needed, I think. Right, and how high up is this going to be? Let's just check it here. I mean, yeah. Who did you guys? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn now. Like, maybe it should be one higher, and then we put an angle block kind of facing up, and like this. Like, if they do go off, they're going to fall straight down. And we can leave this whole thing open, pretty much. Even this bit can be open, because I can just throw shit down if I have to. Uh, yeah, and maybe we can leave, these could be bars as well, right? Like, let's take, let's take the plate out here. Oops. Right shape, we want the right rotation. Right? I'm going to put a plate here. Not because we have to, but I'm thinking that having extra little a bit for these bars to hang on to might be a good idea. I mean, I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, now I want to pull out that one right in there. Like, I don't think this one is needed here. I think it's better to have the double layer of bars where I'm going to be standing than here. And good zombies don't have pickaxes. Perfect. Now I'll feel protected. Okay, how much do we have left here? 171. I'll hang on to banging those. Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Get them started. Okay, and then you. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put some iron bars on top too. That way we can see if any zombies do manage to get up there. I'm not saying they will, but if they do manage to get up here and they're running across the top, I'll be able to see them and shoot them. Maybe? Possibly? 61 left, eh? Alright, let's get three more in here. Almost leveled. Thinking about putting wood on the top, but I don't think that's a good idea. 
If they do get up, they'll just smash through the wood so fast. Ooh, you gotta be going. Getting to the end of our mix. That's a pretty good day's worth of work, though. Lots, yeah, we got lots of bars. We can put them on top. What are these guys doing here? Okay, what do we got to melt here? These guys. I only need two. Okay, get those going. Um, one more. There we go. Let's grab some more of this. Yeah, I think we're going to have plenty. I mean, it is only day 30, right? That's looking pretty good. I think we're going to leave the AP for now with that new stuff coming out. Make some more regular 762, which only requires three gunpowder. Like how much more do we have coming? A couple thousand. Yeah. Okay. 137, 171. All right, let's get back out here. Getting pretty darn close to finishing this up. Okay. Um, let's leave this for now. Let's do this. Get this sorted. Three skill points. So we're going to make, I think, the, to round up the episode, I think probably we'll make that shotgun turret. Get that installed. Ah, for crying out loud, really? There we go. Get the shotgun turret made. Spend those skill points. And uh, I think that might be about it. Okay, so we're going to put a, one across here. Like so. How much do we have left? 64. Okay, so now... Um, advanced, let's get this up here. So if they do somehow manage to get up on the roof, we have a relatively formidable defense by being able to shoot up and kill them. Now I may want to double this up. I might put a second la layer right in here, a little lower. So if they break through, then at least I got some defense. I could put the wooden ones in there too, right? possibility. Alright, let's close this. How much do we have left? 44. Let's see how many of these out here actually can be updated or upgraded. Yeah, this is looking pretty darn solid. I mean, we could put one more plate in here. I don't think they're going to be able to get up there anyway. We don't have a plate anyhow. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Right, they get in here. They can't do anything in here. They're stuck at this door. They're getting hosed from right there. They're not. They're not going to get in. I feel pretty confident. Whether or not that confidence is uh, warranted or not, I'm sure we'll find out. 
Three more episodes, guys. Three more, and that horde's going to come, and hopefully that doesn't wreck face. All right, we don't have enough time to go pull a mission off, so... Let's grab some more of this. And the shotgun turret now. Um, shotgun turret, what do we need? Four shotgun parts, 60 forged steel. Oh, man. Talk about taking a shot to the groin. Well. And we need a motion sensor too. Which we can't make. Um, you know, I should have been wearing my nerdy goggles this whole time. Can we make it? Actually, you know what? Let's see here. Um, advanced engineering. This gives us what? Base defense systems such as electrical fences and blade traps. 20% XP from electrical trap kills. This one is chainsaws, augers, and nail guns. Forge steel and forges. I mean, we could... Uh, we don't have enough time. I have enough time. Let's get the electrician anyway. Um, we want to start cranking up intellect. Ah. It's such a hard choice here. We could go healing factor. Um, living off the land is another option. We could go up to, we can make yucca, chrysanthemum, aloe, and goldenrod, berries, and vegetables. Eh. We're doing okay for food, so I'm not really that worried about that. Cardio is good. 25, 10% while sprinting. Iron gut, heavy armor. We don't really need heavy armor because we're using light armor, which we could raise up, improving the durability, reducing stamina penalty and movement penalty. We haven't done anything in perception. I think we take... Armor piercing rounds. Can penetrate additional target or block of up to 500 hit points when using hunting or marksman rifles. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Thinking Horde Knight. What can we do Horde Knight wise? Well, I could raise the intellect up one for now. Oh, that's our free one. Wait, can I not? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, right, because we cost two to go to six. That's right. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's get this concrete. We are starting to bottleneck here. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this base. Um, those done. Now there might be one or two more outside that we need to hit up here too. Yeah, two more. Okay, perfect. That should be all of these up to reinforced. I think we're looking good out here. This isn't going to give us the opportunity to throw anything though. 
But that's throwing stuff is for for this base back here, not for this one. Um, so the only place they can get in when this is closed, they'll fall down on the outside, which means they can't get in when it's closed. So if I do this angle blocks. Right, and we do this. Yeah, see, because we can't put anything up there. We can do that, though. They'll come walking down and they'll just fall off. Right, it looks weird. I mean, I hate the way it looks, but... They should not be able to get on here now. What I should do, though... I wonder if I should add bars to here so I can step out and look down. And if I do that, then they'll be able to fall down on top of me. Unless we put bars here too. Huh. Well, since I don't think we're making the shotgun turret, let's... Uh, 60 forge steel, man. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. So let's get this into place. Uh, how much we have left? Plenty. Okay, good. All right, I think this just about does it for here. Okay, I feel pretty good about this actually right now. So let's go with... Um, I think I do want to have some bars here. I think that's all we need. I don't think we need any more than that. And then what we can do is um, build this out. Let's grab this block. Oh, it's already matching the frame. That one, and then we'll just turn these back into regular flat blocks. Like that. How much do we have left here? I got enough. Like that. So they shouldn't be able to drop down on here now. What I can do now is do... Don't have enough bars. I need more bars. Yeah, see? Gotta make more bars. Okay. That's easy enough to do. We'll make some more bars. Uh, right? We'll drop that down a little more, I think, too. I mean, we could make that a full cage, I think. So it's fully encased. So I can step out. What are you doing? Can I get on my bike and fly? Just go somewhere so these guys just go away. Um, what have we got here? Anything? Anything? Please, something. Twenty-five, huh? Um. Yeah, how many are we going to need? That's the question. So we need one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 maybe? Sixteen, maybe? I don't know. Guys are starting to annoy me. That was a gimme and I missed it. like the uh, like a World War II anti -air anti aircraft unit just guessing where to shoot come on Bubba You did that on purpose. You're just suckering me into it. I think I'm not giving it enough uh, drop. I think these drop a significant amount. Ah, damn it. I give up. All right, just killing time for the concrete anyway. Killing time for concrete. Hundred and fifty. Oh God, we we are going to do this too, right? Let's just do twenty. Uh, where is the? Uh, Seven twenty, huh? Nine ten to see how many that gives us. Twenty five, beautiful. I know it'll stop just before the end, but whatever. All right, ammo's done. Nice. Okay, well, I think that's going to about do it for that base. I don't think there's anything else we really want to do to it. God, I want to kill this bird so bad. Um, we probably should now work on a way to get back from the base into our home along here. So I'm going to have to find a way to be able to support more of these pillars along here or uh, cages here. Uh, we talked about maybe upgrading these pillars so that they're wider, which I think probably is a good idea. So maybe we start doing that. Let's do this. Um, gonna dig down here and here gonna do this and this now this is really like fighting spot of last resort so wood bars are like okay I guess here okay so now we're gonna do this because I'm gonna put another one of these here going up so now I can run in and go around if they not because these bars will get can get knocked out really easy at least this way I don't have to worry about that so we gotta have to do that this will be hundred and sixty I think right now how many more do we, do we need one more we need one more 
showing off my mine Minecraft skills there. All right, then we just need the bars. So let's make a bunch of wood bars. Um, how many? Let's make 50 for now. Probably end up needing more. I think we got some inside too, but all right. Let's match the rotation. Hey. There we go. That should give us enough protection. Just from vultures, we don't really need it from anything else. Nothing else will be above us here. Now I probably should make this wider here too. I think so. Got enough for one more. So let's make this wider. And I wonder if we do it I think we do it like this. And then below us we're going to put some more beams in. And those ones are fine like that. Okay. Almost done this day guys. We got a couple of hours. We got an hour left. An hour left in the day. I think we're looking pretty good though. At least I feel a lot better about it. I was kind of worried there a couple of episodes ago if we were going to get this done, but just spending all my time doing it, I feel pretty good about it now. Okay. And then how much do we have left here? 170, so enough for eight more. And then we'll go... You know what? Wonder if we turn these into plates. It's going to certainly give us better vision. Or we just fill this part in. Like, or maybe it's all this. If we fill this in, because if this pillar comes out here, this is going to collapse. No, sorry. This pillar comes out, it will stay. Yeah, either way it's fine. Um, I think we do it with plates. Just thinking about what the zombies are level to do. And most likely, if we do it with plates, they'll be thinner, they'll still have areas to run around and I'll have areas to shoot them. But if I block it off totally, it's going to be a lot harder for me to see them. I hear somebody walking. But where? It wasn't me because I was standing still. Unless I was hearing the wing, bird's wings flap. That was probably it. Yeah, I think I was hearing the bird's wings flapping. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good day. Gonna keep working on getting everything inside. 
up to snuff. We're going to extend this out a bit more too, I think. Um, the idea is for the birds not to drop down on us. And if it's extended out one more, it makes it extremely difficult for them to swoop in. Well, not extremely difficult, but more difficult for them to swoop in. Let's do this real quick. And then here. Wish those birds would go away. But we're going to go see the trader tomorrow, so... It is the last time before Horde Night to get forged steel. So we're going to hit up the two traders. See if we can get any forged steel. Now we don't have a lot of... Uh, oops. Ah, crap. I have a lot of coin. Oh, come on, really? Just fit in there. There we go. Don't have a lot of coin. Not much we can do. That looks pretty good. Now, not worried about them getting in here because I'm not going to be in here. If anything, I'll be down below. So the birds will be fine. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, did, if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.